We are just a few minutes away from the caucuses officially getting underway here in Iowa. We are also awaiting entrance polls. Chuck Todd is in Iowa. He's got a look at our entrance polls. Chuck, let's talk a little bit more about this entrance poll. We have sent uh, through our folks at Edison Research that the networks use to deploy what we have is entrance pullers. Rick, I want to talk about some of the entrance polls because it's yeah. been clear, at least in Iowa, the most important issue for voters tonight. These Democrats are showing up to these caucuses with one thing in mind, finding a candidate that can beat Donald Trump. Giant number here, six in ten, who said they want somebody who can beat Donald Trump. This is the most important issue right here, electability. When it comes to top issues, we see health care being prioritized. Replacing private health insurance with a single government plan, 57 support, 38 mm -hmm. opposed. All right, Senator. Klobuchar, one other thing that I thought from the exit poll that might have you a little nervous, and let me tell you this one, 60% okay. want to see all private insurance gotten rid of. Entrance poll data shows that 31% of voters, at least tonight, made up their mind either right now or they made it two or three days ago. Joe Biden and Pete Buttigieg are actually the ones who are overperforming with these late deciders for now, which could actually make things a little bit interesting. Voters over 65, they love Biden, they're comfortable with Biden. Younger voters, not, it's not happening. There's your top four, wow. Bernie Sanders at 48% among young voters, 5% among 65 plus. Big news right now? We don't no have news. any results. No news. <laughs> no news. We basically the lack of have news is the news. us burying our head in the entrance poll. So it might be a long night, but we do have our entrance polls to show you. These are all the notes we've gotten from the entrance polls through the night. This is all we have. For about three hours tonight, there was no data. There was virtually no information coming from the campaigns other than their own interpretations of the publicly reported entrance poll results. Just going by the data we see on the entrance polls, the Buttigieg folks have to feel fantastic. So we don't know all the results, but we know by the time it's all said and done, Iowa, you have shocked the nation. Tonight, voters like Iowa said electability was the most important thing. The idea of electability has been top of mind for these voters, finding a candidate who can defeat Donald Trump. I hear from a lot of Democrats every day, you know, the number one concern that they have is we need a candidate who can beat Trump. If the top issue is electability, both from the entrance polls in Iowa and the exit polls now in New Hampshire, electability is the most important thing. And Joe Biden's argument was electability. What's happening? Overwhelmingly, they wanted a candidate that could beat Trump. But among the 34% that are looking for the candidate they agree with on the issues, that candidate is Bernie Sanders. There is a split in the Democratic Party. We saw it last night. We will continue to see it. And it is people who say they want to return to the Obama era and people who say they want more progressive policies than ever. And it's Sanders who is capturing the more progressive people. But that split persists. Breaking news tonight, CBS News entrance polls in Nevada show Bernie Sanders is likely headed for a win in today's caucuses. Look at how Bernie Sanders just blew the competition away when it came to younger voters, voters under age 45. According to our entrance polls, he did well among young voters, first time caucus goers and those who picked health care as their top issue. You see a potential a hole in the armor. They look at that among black voters, only 27 percent. Joe Biden, they're going to celebrate right behind you seeing numbers like that particularly going into the South Carolina primary with its disproportionate share of African-American voters just a week from today. CBS News is projecting Joe Biden will win the South Carolina Democratic primary based on exit polls. And it is a commanding win, thanks to overwhelming support from African-American voters. Democrats always say that you cannot secure the nomination without the support among black voters. Well, Joe Biden was able to demonstrate that tonight. Who best understands the concerns of minorities? Voters said Biden by 42 percent, far more than anyone else. This is the map, this is the actual vote that's just starting to come in. Like I said, it's those exit polls that told us what's happened tonight. Well, Jose, those same exit polls also show that African-American voters here overwhelmingly said that they wanted to see a return to Obama-era policies, not more liberal, not more conservative. But I do think the percentage of African-American votes that he received in South Carolina will send a very strong signal to African-American voters and all voters in Super Tuesday states. People are 
are still voting in seven states. Let's show the lines there in California, Colorado, and Minnesota. And we have a sense of what's on their minds from exit polls as they leave the voting booth. By fairly wide margins, voters say they prefer a nominee who can beat President Trump to one they agree with. The person who can beat Trump in, the, in November is Joe Biden by more than 20 points. Mike Bloomberg dead last today. 9% said he was best equipped to beat Donald Trump after all that he has spent. One of the themes we're seeing throughout the exit poll data tonight, this is a very long night for Elizabeth Warren. She trails among young voters. She's trailing among older voters. This is just among all liberal voters, two thirds of the electorate. Look at this, Sanders 33, Warren 28. They split it. Guess Got Biden 27, he dominates among moderate and conservatives, and guess what happens? Yeah. He wins the Massachusetts primary. Yep. We need a movement and are developing a movement of black, white, Latino, Native American, Asian American, gay and straight. Look at this, Bernie Sanders cleaning up among LGBT voters. State after state after state, as you see Bernie Sanders winning young voters in some places by 50 or more percent. Sanders led Biden among change-focused voters by a two-to-one margin. Free tuition for public colleges, support 76 percent. He is correct when he says, if we have the largest voter turnout in history, we win these elections. He's not getting the turnout of his demographics. And in Texas, Nora, 62 percent of the Democratic primary vote older than 45. Building blocks for a good night there for Joe Biden. Here it is. This is voters over 45. Biden just clobbered everybody. He has 50 percent. Big theme of the night, Anthony, you told us you saw a historic shift in terms of these late deciders. Have you ever seen anything like it? No, well, frankly, we have not. The late breakers came in Joe Biden's favor in a very big way. The places Biden's doing extraordinarily well in are places where a lot of voters waited to the last minute to decide. Something that is notable here for the Sanders campaign is how much they have struggled uh, to really uh, drive turnout among African-American and black voters. These yeah. numbers are just astounding tonight mm -hmm. among black voters. 63% of black voters in North Carolina went for Joe Biden, huge, huge margin of victory. If Bernie Sanders doesn't win this nomination, guys, it is simply because he has never improved this number. When it comes to older voters, when it comes to black voters, Senator Sanders is still struggling, and specifically among black voters. He's not making any more headway than he made back in 2016. Black voters, 84%. Mm -hmm for Joe Biden in the state of Mississippi. And he did it tonight by winning labor union households, white voters without college degrees, black voters, exactly the kind of coalition that a Democrat needs to win a big industrial state. Yeah. What really strikes me from the exit polls in Missouri is that 12 percent ended up saying that they were 18 to 29 years old. That is a deep generational divide in the Democratic Party, and it's one that Joe Biden is going to have to start speaking to in a real in a real way. Yeah, according to the exit polls in Washington state, you have 82 percent percent of Democratic primary voters saying that they are concerned about coronavirus. People are saying in the event of a crisis like coronavirus, they prefer for Joe Biden to be in the driver's seat. Overwhelmingly, voters see Biden rather than Bernie Sanders as the as the president or the person that they would like to see in manage a crisis. And the voters continue to lead where they want to go in this race, which is all about electability and who can beat Donald Trump and who can be leader in a crisis. And the voters have decided in almost all of these states that that's Joe Biden. 